Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh <coughs> Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Alladhi hadana Lihada Wa ma kunna linah tadia Naula alhadana Allah Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Ada brother sin islam Alhamdulillah so, Alhamdulillah Today Allah SWT gathered us again Here in the our majlis Majlis of Film insyaAllah uh, usually we discuss the other something, but today we, we review some other topic. The topic will be the virtue of wudu. The virtue of wudu, which we will uh, take lessons from Quran and also some hadiths we mentioned by, by our scholars. So, wudu is something we, we've done many times. One day we perform many times of, of wudu. So it is important, it is good to know the virtue of wudu. So every time we really enjoy wudu and we really feel uh, upgraded by doing wudu, we really get close to Allah Sintara and mentally we are getting upgraded by performing wudu. So here I read from the book written by Dr. Said al Qahtani, this is a, a scholar. And in addition, in the beginning, about the virtue of wudu, is taken from the verse which told Allah Sintala about the wudu itself. Surah Al Maida, verse 6. So, this is the first virtue of wudu is that wudu is commanded by Allah Sintala. This is the first virtue. The first excellence of wudu is that wudu is the command of Allah. If Allah Sintala command us with something, then it must be useful for us. So this is the, the point. Allah Sintala said in Surah Al Maidah, verse 6, verse 6, and this is the main verse which Allah Sintala command us to, to perform wudu. Allah Sintala said in Surah Al Maidah, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا فهو يبليغ إذا قمتم إلى الصلاة if you want to pray to go to perform and pray صلاة فاغسلوا وجوهكم وأيديكم إلى المرافق then first Allah SWT told us فاغسلوا وجوهكم so what's up your face your face وأيديكم and also your your hand the detail, inshallah, we will discuss. Ila al marafik until here. How to say? Until here. Wa msahu biruusiku and let your your hair. Remember, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala used different words here. Sometimes people also didn't notice that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala used different difference for watch and hand. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala used the word the word fagsilu, ilsil. And when related with hair or head, I will sometimes use famsahu, masaha yamsahu. Mm. So this is different. The scholars explain for our hands, watch, so we take the water and we bring the water to our face. But for our head, we drop the, mm. the water. Because this is masaha yamsahu. This is not to wash with water, but only with our hand. Okay? So let us say, "Wa msahu biruusikum." So let your head, "Wa arjulakum, wa arjulakum ilal kaabain," and also your feet until the. How to say this? Kaabain. So dakhna. Dakhna. In Urdu is dakhna. Dakhna, yes. Until the ankle. How to say? The ankle. 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 Until the ankle. And it's important to clean up all. Yeah, important to clean up all. So again, we, we first discuss about the virtue of wudu itself. Then after we read a continuation of this verse, then Allah SWT said in the end of this verse, مَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيَجْعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ حَرَجْ مَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيَجْعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ حَرَجْ Allah SWT, by told you, by command you to do wudu, didn't want to make difficulty to you. 
So this is important. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala us, "Ma yuridu Allahu liyajala alaykum min haraj." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala by told you to do wudu with many way to do wudu. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala explained, "Ma yuridu Allahu liyajala alaykum min haraj." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala didn't want to put difficulty to you. ولكن in fact Allah Subhanahu wa Taala yuridu liyutahhirakum but by told you to perform wudu Allah Subhanahu wa Taala want to purify you want it to purify purify you so every time we perform wudu we remember this verse Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told us to do wudu and we also remember the essence of wudu Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said ولكن yuridu liyutahhirakum Allah want to purify you So by performing wudu, Allah is purifying you at the time you perform, you perform wudu. And this is what I mean. We, by performing wudu, we getting upgraded. Our mental is upgraded, mentally upgraded. So this is not only physical things, but mentally we getting upgraded because we being purified by Allah, Sunnah by all by all this this wudu. More detail, inshallah, some hadith give us many motivation. That performing wudu is really something we need to enjoy. We need to make really love of performing, performing wudu. This is not something just physical, just turn. So different with washing our like general people. They wake up and then they wash the the face and then it's just like that. There is no part of ibadah, but wudu. But wudu is is ibadah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala told us, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala explain, ما يريد الله ليجعل عليكم من هرج ولكن يريد ليطهركم. Allah wanted to purify you. And then, not only purify, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala explain, وليتم نعمته عليكم. وليتم نعمته الله عليكم. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala want to complete His blessing to you by performing this, this wudu. ليتم نعمته عليكم ولعلكم تشكرون so that you can thank to Allah so three point ليطهركم ليتم نعمته عليكم Allah want to purify us by all these things because without the command of Allah سبحانه we didn't know which part we should purify which part we should purify we should clean up we should wash up easily so this is in Information from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, liyutima ni'matahu alaykum to complete the blessing of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to you. So again, wudu is the blessing of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. In the end, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, wa la al la alakum tashkurun, and so that you can thank to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We thank to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala guide us how to purify ourselves, how to clean up ourselves. Remember, without command of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we didn't know how to purify ourselves. That's why it is also good if you wake up, then just to wash up your face, performing wudu. It's better. It's far more better because this is the way to clean up ourselves. This is the way to clean up part of ourselves. Okay, and this is this part is chosen by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, not by medical study. Our part. Why we need to clean up our ears? This is not because of medical reason, but this is information from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Al Alim, the one who created us. So when we clean up each part of this, even include when we perform here, clean up this, including the feet, it is recommended also to to do like that, with to clean up in here. So this is command from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So this is not because of medical reason or because of research in hygienic uh, field, but this is information from Rabbul Alamin Allah Sultana. So this is important first to feel the blessing of Allah Sultana by this command of perform, of performing wudu, of performing wudu. So this is the first. If we ask uh, what is the virtue of wudu, then the first virtue is wudu is command from Allah Sultana. So nothing better than command of Allah. That this is virtue for all the command of Allah Subhanahu. All the blessing, all the command in Islam, including fasting. We are going to have fasting Ramadan. So, someone asks you, what is what is the virtue of fasting? The first reason is 
This is command of Allah Sultan. Allah SWT knows most what is best for me. So I just follow Allah SWT. You can say many things, but I didn't think you are no better than Allah. Subhanallah. Allah SWT is more the most known of, of everything. Okay? So this is the first thing. And this reason or again is also happen for all the command of Allah SWT, all the obligation, including all the recommended uh, ibadah. Okay? And the second, uh, we start reading this book from uh, Dr. Sa'id uh, bin Wahab al-Qahtani. He, just to remind you, he had a famous book, maybe you know the book, He's Not Muslim, about dhikr, many dhikr and dua. In this mosque, we have many of the small book. It's printed in orange, the cover is orange. I think, I think we have this one. In my home, there are many. <laughs> if you want to, in Indonesia, also we have many. Because this, if you go to Hajj, people distribute mm -hmm. this. This, this book. Okay. So, next, about the virtue of uh, wudu, Allah SWT, uh, Allah SWT said, and Abu Hurairah, this hadith from Abu Hurairah, who called it, Abu Hurairah said, Samitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I heard Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Inna ummati yar'una yawm al-qiyamati ghurran muhajjalina min athari al-wudu'i That in the, in the yawm al-qiyamah, in the hereafter, that the nation of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu they are special. Why? Because of the sign of the wudu in their part of the, of the body. So Prophet Muhammad even said, Inna ummati, that truly my nation, my nation, my ummah, Yud'auna yawm al-qiyamah will be called in the hereafter ghurran muhajjalina min athari wudu because the sign of the sign of the their body because of the wudu they perform in in dunya so by performing wudu this become our our sign okay and regarding this sign there is an um, ijtihad of one of the companion Abu Hurairah Abu Hurairah one day is mentioned in the book of uh, scholars that Abu Hurairah then think it is better to make wudu higher because the sign would be bigger. The sign would be bigger. But Allah Alam, the scholars say the best is still until here. And even Abu Hurairah actually didn't mean to spread this ijtihad. This is only his personal opinion. And he only, like, the scholars explain this, what happened is. Abu Hurairah performing wudu, then someone listening behind him. He might have already said, ah, it seems better to make it higher. But Abu Hurairah didn't mean to spread this because he didn't have any, any, any nas, any reason. And in Islam, to perform ibadah, we need reason. Reason from Quran or reason from, from Hadith. So this is just the opinion of Abu Hurairah. And Abu Hurairah himself didn't didn't distribute this by by intention. This is just a person heard Abu Hurairah and then he he, he tell from Abu Hurairah. So the best still to do what is told by Allah SWT, like hands until this. Okay. So if someone asks you which one better to perform wudu by all the so the best one is until here. Because this is what Abu SWT told us. Okay. So first again in the hereafter, it will be our sign, sign of the people of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The second first two, Allah SWT say, uh, the, the next is will be from Hadith, and Uthman radiallahu anhu, from Uthman radiallahu anhu, أنه قال حينما توضأ وضوءا كاملا, when Uthman performed wudu with a perfect, complete wudu. So one day Uthman asked his slave, as his slave, please bring me water. Then Uthman performed wudu. Then after performing wudu, then Uthman said, Ra'aytu Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tawaddu'a nahwa wudu'i hada. I saw Prophet Sallam perform the wudu, same as wudu which I performed. So in detail, this will be the, the famous hadith which, which explain the detail of wudu. The tale of wudu, one of the famous hadiths, is from Uthman. This hadith. 
Because in this part, we, we, didn't, we haven't discussed about the detail of the wudu. What is Uthman said? Uthman said, I saw Prophet Salam perform wudu, same with my wudu. So Uthman teach his slave that my wudu is same with the wudu which performed by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then Uthman said, Wakala, man tawadda nahwa wudu ihada, summa salla raqataini, and then even Uthman also uh, talk the way from Salam talk. So Prophet Salam said, and Uthman also said the same thing. The Prophet Salam said, Man tawaddu anah wa wudu ihada, who perform wudu, same as my wudu, wudu of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, summa salla raqataini. Then he pray two raqa. He pray two raqa next after, after wudu. لا يحدث فيهما نفسه. But this is the 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 problem. This is the hard the hard thing, the hard part. He didn't speak to himself in this prayer. When he performed the prayer, khushu. He didn't speak to himself. Means he don't pray, but he keep saying to himself, "What will I do after pray? What will I do then? My plan in the next week and in the weekend or something." This is. In the in the hadith say you had this nafsa, he speak to himself. Pray should be his communication to Allah, sultana. No self speech, no speak to to himself. Should be, should be, he speak to Allah, sultana. So this is the the difficult thing. This is the hard thing. The, in this wudu, the the condition is la you had this la you had this ufihi ma nafsa. In this two rakaat, he didn't uh, like like that. He didn't speak to himself. And the scholars say, if how to to avoid this? If something comes, then we stop it. So it doesn't mean you forget anything. No, it doesn't mean you must. You maybe remember something. You remember your your motorcycle when you pray. It is okay, but at that time you remember you should cut it. Stop. Maybe you remember your daughter. Mm -hmm. Then it is it is human. You cannot avoid this. But what should we do is not to prolong this. I remember my motorcycle. Oh, where is it? Oh, I parked there. How about if the police come and took my motorcycle? And then you keep talking about this until long time. Then you forget your rakat. You forget. So this is the the problem. When something coming, it's okay. The scholars say this is. We cannot avoid this. But what we can do is to stop. When something comes, then stop. Nothing comes, then then stop. And try to focus on on what we we say in in the prayer. So if we perform wudu, the same wudu as the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, and then he perform pray two rakaa with khushu, and then what is the reward? Ghafir Allahu lahu ma taqaddam min dhanbi. Allah will forgive all his sins. Will he all his? Previous sins, Subhanallah. Allah will forgive all his previous sins. Mm. This is same with the with the Ajr of of Ramadan. If you remember the Hadith of Ramadan, right? Man sama Ramadana iman al maktisaban lufir al ulma taqaddam min min dambi. We can have the same without waiting Ramadan actually. We perform wudu any wudu, not only wudu to perform pray, any wudu. You wake up and then you perform. A wudu, and then you pray two rakat. So scholars say this is shukrul wudu, thank of the wudu. This is the name. We can just pray two rakat. Some said, some said, tahiyatul wudu. Ah, some said tahiyatul. And the scholars say it is okay. For instance, you wake up or pray fajr, and then you come to the mosque. You want to pray tahiyatul masjid. You want to pray qabla. Fajr, and you want to pray Tahiyatul Wudu. You can pray two rakat for the for those three niyyah. It is okay, and it is actually is better to perform on it because in this hadith the scholars explain it doesn't mention what what pray. So if you pray Tahiyatul Masjid, it also include in this in this hadith. Okay, but again the hard part is. Not to speak to ourselves in this two rakah. So we need to to uh, 
to try to try our best not to speak as as we explained before to speak to ourselves in this in this tour of us okay so this is the first tour again of of praying and this is actually if we see the rewards the reward is really really huge ghafir allah ghafir allah Allah will forgive him all his previous sins all his previous sins all the previous previous sins so we need to again uh, what should we do is to so what should we do is to do to get to know how is the wudu of the prophet muhammad I will do the prayer of salam and then try to pray two rakat with khushu and hope that Allah subhanahu wa give us the, this ajr, this reward. Ghufir Allah lahu ma taqaddama min min tanbihi. It mentioned that this hadith is akhraji wa Bukhari from Imam Bukhari. So this hadith in the authority of Imam, Imam Bukhari. Okay. Another hadith, still an Uthman radiallahu anhu qala from Uthman radiallahu anhu qala Samitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yakul I heard Prophet sallam say La yatawadda rajulun muslim fayuhsinun wudu any, any muslim who perform wudu okay, who perform wudu fayuhsinun wudu means he perform the wudu in a good way in a good way fayusalli salatan then he perform pray فَيُسَلِّ صَلَاتًا at least two raka'ah إِلَّا غُفِرَ اللَّهُ لَهُ مَا بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ صَلَاتِ اللَّتِي تَلِيهَا and Allah SWT will forgive him will forgive his sins between his pray and the next pray and the next the next pray so this is a different hadith in this hadith إِلَّا except Allah SWT غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ صَلَاتِ اللَّتِي تَلِيهَا Allah will forgive his sins and until the next until the next prayer so again this is also a big virtue okay? a big virtue okay. the, the next hadith okay. the next hadith anhu again from Uthman anhu ma min imri no one uh, even a uh, person muslim he is a muslim Tahduruhu salatun maktubatu. Then the time of prayer is coming. Time of prayer is coming. Fayyusinu wudu ahu. Then he perform wudu in a good way. Okay. Pray. Time of prayer is coming. Then he perform the wudu. Wa khushu ahu. Wa khushu aha. Then he perform the khushu uh, in the prayer. Wa ruku aha. He also perform the ruku. Means he perform the prayer in a complete way. Illa kanat kafaratan lima qablaha min dunu Then this wudu and the pray, all this thing, wudu and the pray, kafaratan lima baynahuma. Kafaratan lima qablaha, then it will be kafara. Kafara mean to erase. Kafara min dunu bi. So the, from his dunu, from his sins, his previous sins. But here, the condition is ma lam yu'ti kabira as long as he didn't do big sins kabira okay so as long as he didn't do big sins then Allah will forgive him all the sins the scholars explain the sins is the small sins okay sagaira small sins okay ma lam yu'ti kabira wa dhalika dahra kullah and this will happen all the years Every time time of prayer is coming, then you perform wudu and then you pray, it will be to erase your sins, your previous sins, as long as we didn't perform kabira. What is the example of kabira? Uh, kid, murder is example of? Murder is mm, uh, drink, uh, uh, drink hamar, um, um, zina, zina. Yeah. Could be the bad behavior to your parents. This also, yeah, 
So it will erase. So again, the important lesson for us is to again enjoy the moment. When the when the time of uh, uh, prayer is coming, in Japan there's no other. In Pakistan or in Indonesia or in Muslim country, this is uh, the beautiful of Muslim country. We heard this the other. Everywhere we are, in the office, in the campus, everywhere we heard the other. So we can enjoy this time. But at least you can perform this in your iPhone, you in your in your PC or anytime. Then when the time is coming, then you perform your wudu, you came to the pray. So this action will erase your your sins. Will erase your, your sins. So what uh, as we say, all this upper, this activity is not only physical activity. We should do it by heart. We perform all this thing and our heart is hoping to Allah SWT. Hoping that Allah SWT forgive us for all this by all this action that we perform. We perform wudu, then we hope Allah SWT forgive us by, by this ibadah of, of wudu. Okay. Another hadith. Mm. So this hadith again. Another great hadith. We need to remember a little bit wudu. وعن أقباء بن أمير رضي الله عنه، فرم أقباء بن أمير يرفعه، and this is marfu, marfu means to Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. ما من مسلم يتوضع فيحسن وضوءه. A Muslim, so any Muslim he perform wudu, and he perform wudu in a good way. فيحسن وضوءه. So we will discuss this in a perform wudu in a in a good way. ثم يقوم فيصلي ركعتين. Then he pray to Raka. Muqabilan alayhima bi qalbihi wa wajhihi. And in this pray, he face Allah s.a.w. with his, with his face and his heart. With his face mean his physics and also his heart. He facing Allah s.a.w. And what is the reward? Allah s.a.w. say, uh, Prophet s.a.w. say by this hadith, illa wajabat lahul jannah. Except, Jannah is obligated for him. Subhanallah. Jannah is obligated for, for him because of this Ahmad. He performed wudu, fayyuhsinu wudu. He complete the wudu in a good way, as explained by Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this hadith in the authority of Imam Muslim. So this hadith is Sahih from Imam 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 Muslim. You perform wudu, you complete the wudu. Summa yakumu fayyusalli rakataini. Then you pray two rakat. You perform pray to Raka with your face and your heart facing Allah. Sumtala. Again, this is the condition. Your face should go to Allah Sumtala and your heart also. Face, of course, important. Because in pray, it is uh, forbidden to look to other place. If you look other place, then it, the, your pray is cancelled. Mm -hmm. Automatically cancelled at the time. When you pray, then you see other thing. Then it's automatically cancelled. Okay. So be careful. This is really with our our face. But another thing is also our heart. We need to face to Allah, Subhanahu wa Taala. And the reward, wajabat lahu al jannah. So for him, jannah is an obligation. Subhanahu. Jannah is obligation. Obligation for him. Okay. By performing wudu and pray to to Raka. So before. From Uthman, what is the rewards from Uthman? Ghafira lahu ma taqaddama min min dhambi. Allah will forgive him. But in this hadith, from Uqba bin Amir, from Salam Sayyid, illa wajabat lahu al jannah. Except Allah SWT will will make jannah is obligation for him. Allah for Allah is obligated obligation to put him in in jannah. So again, this is another thing that we need to. To try our best, to try our our best. This is uh, among many ways to enter Jannah. Okay? And as in the Hadith that we say, there are many amal that we can use to make us enter enter Jannah. Okay? The important is the action and also our hoping to Allah Subhanahu. Our heart is hoping to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Another hadith An Abi Hurairah An Abi Hurairah radiallahu This is 
again, the hadith which should make us enjoy our wudu in every part of our our wudu. Abu Huraira radhiyallahu anhu he said the Prophet said, "Ida tawaddu al abdul muslim, abul mu'min, if a muslim or a mu'min performing wudu, fa ghasala wajhahu, and when he was his face, when he was his face, kharajat kulla kullu khati'atin nazar ilayha bi'ayni ma'al ma' aw ma' akhir qatil ma' then all the sins performed by this face will be go up will be go up even here it is explained nazar uh, ilayha the sins in our face one of the make the most sins is our eyes and our, our tongue maybe we, we see something bad so if we do perform wudu in this hadith say then the sins will go up ma'aqatri uh, in this say ma'alma uh, along the water so the water is goes up and the the sins also goes up until the last drop of the last drop of the of the water the sins is so this kind of hadith again make us really feel this wudu every time you wash then you remember that in this wash, Allah will also clean up. This is not only clean your your face from from dust on anything, but this is clean also from the sins performed by this this part of our our body. Okay. ghasala yadayhi, and if he wash his hand, kharaja min yadayhi kullu qati'atin kana batashakha yadahu, and again. When he was this, then all the sins performed by his hand. Maybe he do bad things by his hand will be goes out along the water which goes out from this, from this hand until the last, the last drop of the, of the water. Khat faida ghasala rijlaihi kharajat kullu fatiatin mashatha rijlahu maal mai aw ma akhiru qatr al mai. This also when we clean our feet, then the 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 scenes performed by our feet is also goes up along the water which we use to clean in the in the wudu. Hatta in the in the end of the hadith, hatta yakhruju nakiyan min al zulum. So when he go he finish the wudu, he's like. When you see the the mobile comes up from after washing, so clean. You see the car being washed, and you see the car first comes up from this machine. <laughs> so this is like this kind of thing. A person comes up from wudu is like the car which goes up from this washing washing. Nakian is so clean, clean not only from the the dust or the those thing physical thing but also from the from the sins okay but also from from the sins this is also from imam muslim in the authority of imam imam muslim so again this hadith should make us enjoy the the wudu remember this hadith and also uh, with big hope to allah ta'ala allah ta'ala forgive us for all the sins that's why if we perform one of the way to perform toba also to perform wudu. If you do something bad, then perform wudu. Then do wudu and hope to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe you think that oh, so it's easy then. I can do bad things, then perform wudu. So we can say just try. Inshallah, wudu will affect you. Perform istighfar, perform wudu. Keep trying. Every time you perform sins, do istighfar and perform wudu. Maybe you say it, then I will do. Just try it. Every time you, I mean, if you do sins, then perform this food. Inshallah, bit Allah SWT will guide us into, into, into a good way, into a, a better way. Maybe we did not, we did not interesting again to do those, those bad things, Inshallah. Okay. Another hadith, uh, also almost the same, this is from Usman. More detail, Usman explained. Man tawadda fa ahsan al wudu, kharajat khata yahu min jasadi. 
who perform wudu, then this, his sins will go out from his body. Okay? Uh, min jasadi, from his jasad, from his body. Hatta takhruju, hatta takhruja min tahta adfarihi. Until the sins is goes out from under our names. The sin is like sneak out under our our names. So feel this when you do the the pray, and thank Allah Subhanahu when you do the the pray. Okay? Allah Subhanahu will guide us to do this this holy ibadah of Hudud. Okay? And Tasian the ninth hadith in this book, and Abu Hurairah radiallahu. The Prophet Sallam say, "Ala adulukum, ala ma yamhu Allahu bihi al-khataya wa yarfa'u bihi al-darajah." Our Prophet Sallam say, "Will you? How if I told you about some action, some ibadah, which will erase your sins, your sins, wa yarfa'u bihi al-darajah, and will increase your your level, erase your sin and increase your level, level." Kalu and their companion say, "Bala ya Rasulullah, yes." Of Prophet Salam, then Prophet Salam say, "Isbaghu al-wudu al al makar al To complete our wudu, even in the time of makar, in the time of uh, not a good time. For instance, you complete your wudu with the cold, in the cold season, and you didn't have hot water, but you still complete your your wudu. Okay, so this is uh, this is." Uh, in the hadith, يَمْحُ اللَّهُ بِهِ الْخَطَيَا وَيَرْفَعُ بِهِ الدَّرَجَةَ How about if, uh, this is question, how about if the season is cold, but you have hot water? Which one you choose? Hot water or cold water? If, if we have hot water? Yes, we have hot water. Yeah, uh, if, if we have hot, hot water, we make from hot water. Hot water. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you want to swab more, yeah, I think uh, cool water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people think the same, yeah. but our scholars say hot water is better at the time. Even hot water is better. Because basically, our Prophet said, and this is Sunnah of our Prophet, if there is two options, choose the easiest one. This is Sunnah of our Prophet, and this is, this is for many things. Prophet, is, if there is two options, and, and of course, those two is okay by Sharia, not something haram. If okay, then it is recommended to choose the easiest one. The easiest one. Choose the easiest one. And this is the basic principle of Islam. Not to put yourself into problem. But if problem coming, then we should stand up. This principle of Islam. La tatamannaw liko al adu. Our Islam teach us, don't find enemy. Do not find enemy. But if enemy is coming, don't go away. This is in the time of jihad. Don't go away. We are religion which told by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala not to seek enemy. We are religion of peace. But if enemy is coming, don't go away. And this is one of the biggest kabair to go away in the time of of jihad. So again, the principle in Islam is to choose the easiest one. The easiest one. Just the, the easiest one. So I ask because also this is discussed by the scholars because some also think think the same. To choose. But inshallah this is this is the best. So if there is no option of course uh, we need to perform uh, the wudu in a complete way. Including when we have some problem, for instance we have some sickness, then it is okay to perform Kayamu. And it's Remember, this is not decrease your ajar. If you have problem, then just perform tayammu. This is not decrease your ajar. This is the same ajar, inshallah. The same reward from Allah Taala, without decreasing your your rewards. Because Islam, this is also interesting. The perfect of Islam, the perfect way to perform Islam is different time by time. For us, pray. The perfect one is to do pray by standing. But for all people. For them, they can do pray by sit down, but the reward is the same. Reward is the same because that's that's the perfect for him, for him, and this is the perfect for for us. That, that's why that's also maybe here we are in in non-Muslim country. 
we have some limitation. Maybe the perfect here and the perfect there in Pakistan sometimes different. Perfect here and perfect there is sometimes different. Allah Again, uh, the first one say first is bagh al wudu ala al makari, and the second wa kafratul khuta ila al masajid. Many steps to masjid. This will erase your sins and increase your level. وانتظار الصلاة بعد الصلاة and wait for the next salah after after pray we do pray and then we need wait for another pray for example maybe maghrib and isha because fajr and zohar is not good you wait in mosque waiting for zohar this is not good even there is hadith from salam told someone to go out don't stay in the mosque this is not time to to pray you should go out I mean find the fadila of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah Fadila, I mean, rizq, rizq, blessing of Allah Sintara. Remember when we go out from masjid, what is the dua? Al-Maktahli, Abu Abba, Fadlika. And we go in, we say, Al-Maktahli, Abu Abba, Rahmatika. So, inshallah, if we think masjid is the center of our life, then what we find in, in dunya is Rahma and Father. Rahma and Father. Rahma and Father. This is, this is our niyyah. Between Rahma, looking for Rahma, looking for Fadila. Looking for Rahma, looking for Fadila. Right? Uh, right. So this is uh, the hadith mentioned in this book. There's additional hadith we, we add here. from Also from Imam Muslim. Our Prophet Salam said, Ma minkum min ahadin yatawaddaw. He perform wudu, fal yubalik al wudu. Then he complete the wudu. Summa yakul, and then you do the, the pray after wudu. What is the pray after wudu? Ashadu ala ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Allahumma aj'alni minal tawabin, wa aj'alni minal mutatahhirin. This is the complete one, based on this. This is mentioned in this hadith, in the authority of Imam Muslim, by saying shahada, and then saying, Allahumma aj'alni minal tawabin, wa aj'alni minal what is the virtue of this dua? Of course, again, we do dua. We know the, we say this to Allah SWT. Allah maj'anni min al-tawabin, maj'anni min al-mutatahirin. Allah made us among the tawabin, people who perform tawbah and people of mutatahirin, people who purify himself. Then, in this hadith, uh, our Prophet Salaam said, Illa, if he do, this wudu and this dua illa futihat lahu abwaabul jannah at thamaniyah yadukhulu min ayyuha sha'a at the time then the doors of jannah is open to him all the eight doors of jannah is open to him he can enter ayyuha sha'a which one he wanted and this for every time he prayed we perform wudu not only wudu for spray any time you perform wudu, you make dua, this dua, Shadu Allah ilaha illallah wa shadu anna Muhammad al-Abdu wa rasuluh. Al maj'ani min al-tawbin, maj'ani min al-mutatafirin. After that, illa futiat lahu abwabu al-jannah al-thamaniya. Then eight doors of jannah is open for you. You can enter which one you, you want to. Okay, so again, uh, this kind of hadith should motivate us to do, to do this in a, in a good way in a good way physically and also mentally with our our heart actually this is all the ibadah not only physical but also mentally and this is wudu mashallah this is wudu we haven't discussed pray wudu is just uh, something before pray the main is the pray the main is pray so we can imagine the the virtue of salah is that the virtue of of pray. Wudu, the virtue of Wudu is so, so huge. So, so big. So again, hopefully we can perform Wudu in a good way. S uh, simply, the complete Wudu, which mentioned by Uthman ibn Affan in the Hadith, Uthman ibn Affan took a place of water, and then what Uthman performed is that he took, he cleaned up so the complete wudu, he clean up the, the hands first. He clean up the, the hands. And this is sunnah. 
you know, the first sunnah when you go up to the toilet in the morning is to clean up the hands. To clean up the hands. This is the, the sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad. So before wudu, uh, we say Bismillah. Of course, uh, Niya in our heart. And then we say Bismillah. And then we clean up this one. And then what is done by Umar? He took the water and then put the water to the mouth and to the yes. nose. What you say? What is the English for Kumu? Yeah. In the same time, this is the Kumu one. We put, so we, we, yeah. This is called Istincha. Sak, sak, sak. Istincha. And the same time, also take it to the mouth. And tamad moko. Berkumur. How do you say in English? Put water and you do. Pulis. You did like that. Yeah. I know Indonesia. You know Pakistan. So it's okay. Tamad moko is in the Arabic word. Tamad moko. You do tamad moko. And then istincha. And then Alhamdulillah, Allah SWT told us to do istinsa, mm -hmm. to let it out, the, the water. And it is, the perfect one is to let it out by the right. left hand. Yeah. So right hand, and then let it out by the, by the left hand. This is include face. So in the next, we clean up the, the face. And you have, if you have bird, then it is recommended to, to mm -hmm. do like this. Okay. The face, uh, one time is okay. Three times is Abdaliyah. Sunnah is three times. And then our hand until Marafik. Like this. How you say this? Okay. Okay. I know and you know. <laughs> Marafik. Until this part. This one time is okay. Three times is better. Time. Also, and then left. Okay. And then? Our. Muscle. What is done by, by Usman, which Usman said performed by Prophet is by take and then perform like this, bring up and then one time. One, take the water and then without water, only two and then goes back, goes in front and then goes like this. This is explained in the, in the <coughs> hadith. Just like that. How many times? One time is best. One time is one time. One time. Uh, one time. One time. <laughs> yeah, it's special. One time. It's different. <laughs> it's only, head is only one time. This is the best. So no, no three times is the best. If you perform three, this is more. It's not good. Addition. Yeah. It's, one is this. It's good. Perform only. Only one, and then then our our feet until the ankle. What is it? Ankle. Mm -hmm. This one is ankle. Mm -hmm. Achilles. Achilles. Uh, Achilles. Uh, until uh, until uh, our Achilles. Three times. Mm -hmm. Re recommend it also to to clean this part. Okay. Three times and don't forget. Prophet Salam said in one of the hadith, "Waidul uh, Aqabi min al -nar. The Aqab is this part. Mm. Mm -hmm. This part. Uh, once uh, the companion they perform wudu in a hurry because they perform sabar before Muslim, that the time of maghrib is, is coming. So they want to perform jama, zuhur, and asar. So they, they perform wudu in a hurry. They perform, then after they perform wudu, from Salam do wudu. And in the time from Salam performing wudu, then Jibreel said, that one of your that your companions perform wudu not complete. Their aqab is not uh, washed by water. So Prophet Salam uh, said, yelling to the companion, Why do the aqabi min al-nar? Three times. Why do the aqabi min al-nar? Reminds them, you should repeat your wudu because you didn't wash part of your of your feet. This aqab. So we need to be uh, careful to wash this all of this part. Okay. So uh, how many times? <laughs> First three. Oh, yeah. Three is the perfect one. One is 
it's okay. So that's the complete wudu, and uh, we can find the hadith from Usman related with this one. Then the, the slave which give Usman name is uh, Imran, Imran Mawla, Usman. Imran give the water, then Usman performed the wudu, and after the wudu, Usman say the Prophet perform wudu same as my, my wudu, and explain about the virtue of praying two rakah after after praying. That's uh, that's what we learn from this hadith. But of course, if someone bring another hadith, then we can say we follow the, the hadith that, that we know in Shah. Maybe that's all for today. Hopefully useful to to build our ibadah based on the knowledge and to improve our ibadah physically and also mentally in Shah. Hadan Allah wa iyyakum ajma'in. Subhanakullah wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. وأخروا دعونا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته